Debris removal after the Marshall fire could start in two to four weeks. That was an estimate given by the project's operations manager at a meeting tonight. Now, news reporter Kelly Rinke joins us now with what fire survivors should expect as this all begins. Kelly? Yeah, Natasha, this was really the first time Boulder County shared detailed information about this debris removal program. Three months since the Marshall fire, residents are eager to start this process so they can rebuild their homes. The goal has been to finish this project in July, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. The project's operations manager says he th thinks this work could start in two to four weeks, which pushes that timeline into August. Before work starts, several steps need to take place first. That includes inspections at every single property. By this Friday, the county says it plans to release a map to show which areas will go first and which will go last. So we had to look at different neighborhoods through that lens and determine how to prioritize it based on FEMA's guidelines. Another component of it is areas where we have runoff issues. Now, there were a lot of questions about safety. The debris removal company says that they will constantly spray water onto the property to keep any toxic materials from going up into the air. Crews will help remove a number of different things, such as foundation, driveways, and trees. The county will notify families in advance before crews show up on their property. More than 800 property owners are opted into this program, but people can still opt in or opt out up until crews enter their neighborhood. Natasha, once that work starts, the county says this project will be done in four months. Yeah, glad to see that they, at least they have some sort of plan in place. Kelly, thank you. Thanks. A judge just dismissed the lawsuit over how Boulder County picked the debris removal contractor. Yesterday, a judge ruled that the former FEMA administrator and conservative talk radio host Michael Brown did not have the standing to bring the lawsuit because he doesn't have a connection to Boulder County. The judge did not weigh in on the allegations that the county violated open meetings law when it picked a contractor. The county claimed that it didn't break any rules.